Hey, hello. Welcome to my front porch jam. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Uh, doing well here. Got a got a touch of a cold, so had a little bit of a scratchy throat kind of thing going on, but uh, I think it'll be all right. Um, I might end up coughing and hacking, but if I do, I'll try to at least do it off mic. Um, and if I can't do it off mic, I might do a creative edit later. So if you see some edits in here, um, then uh, that's why uh, that or I've uh, me messed up big time and I have to fix it one or the other. But um, but nonetheless, that's what that's all about. Um, and uh, hopefully it doesn't impact my usual awesome singing voice, but I'm just here to show you how to play some songs anyways. So they don't have to be perfect. So I uh, and it wouldn't be in, my <laughs> in all honesty, if my voice was 100 percent. It would be. Uh, a long ways, it would leave a lot to be desired. I am aware of this. Um, but anyways, um, let's go ahead and have a look at some chord charts for a song called 15 Beers. Uh, and it's a song by uh, Johnny Paycheck while I adjust my monitors here. They they seem to be popping out of my ears a little bit. Um, but um, anyways, uh, this is a, a old Johnny Paycheck song, 15 Beers. And... Um, if I go here and show you the chord chart, we'll talk a bit about that. Um, here we go. Okay, a um, couple things to note. For the most part, it's just a old, good old uh, country strumming song. So for the most part, it's just your standard uh, old old time country music, uh, you know. Um, but uh, the beginning, it's a kind of a strum like that kind of hard to gauge unless you're, until you're in the flow of the song singing it, but it's about like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and then, if you notice right at the beginning, it says F, no chord, and then there's a walk-up. So it's, so, I drank 15 beers, and it's, so it's, um, starts on F, G, A flat, B flat. And then you, you come in on the vocal right as you're going into the B flat. So it's drank 15 beers. It's a whole lot of brew in one night. It's like that, right? So drank 15 beers. It's a whole lot of brew in one night. When you try to drown a memory from your mind. And then that's a C7 there. So you got a C. Then you put your little finger down on the third string, third fret. Gives it that uh, extra, extra country twang. Um, other than that, it's just very straightforward. So it's uh, um, just your, your basic. It took, 15, it took me 15 beers to get hit. And how many? <laughs> I don't know how many. many. Pardon me. Um, so it's drink 15 beers to get hit. How many more do I leave? Well, it's when you are not in the flow of the song, it's a little bit harder to do that, but you get the idea for the strum pattern. We'll, we'll cover that in more detail um, in the actual song. So, um, because just to, to try to jump into some random chords in the middle of the song makes it a little more difficult than if you are in the uh, flow of the song. So, um, but nonetheless, just wanted to kind of give you the idea for the strum patterns. <laughs> So kind of like that, right? So that, that's the basic feel of the song. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, run through it, run through some some nice Johnny Paycheck. Um, <laughs> this is, uh, I, could just say, I could just say, this is a story about my night last night. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, we'll see what's going on with, uh, with him. And then we'll talk a little bit about a little song and artist information afterwards. All right, so... So here we go. Let's uh, let's uh, have a look and see how it sounds. Have a look and a listen, I guess, as they say. Here we go. I drank 15 beers. It's a whole lot of brew for one night. When you try to drown a memory from your mind. Took me 15 beers to get here. Don't know how many more do I leave Take my change and tears Drink 15 beers Well, we rolled into Joe's about 6.15 And I was ready to pour them down It was at 8 o'clock Delilah wasn't meeting me there Well, I thought I'd have me a pour just to loosen up Cause 
we were really gonna swing tonight I could already see her face and touch her long red hair Well at 9.35 I thought man alive What could be holding her up Cause Then a man in a long black Cadillac came in Told little Joe to fill her up While he's cleaning off the windows Guess who we saw in the back laying soft as rain It was Delilah Sipping on pink champagne I drank 15 beers It's a whole lot of brew for one man When you try to drown a memory from your mind it Took me 15 beers to forget you Don't know how many more to just get When he holds a lot of near I'll drink my 15 beers I drank 15 beers It's a whole lot of brew for one night when you try to drown a memory from your mind Took me fifteen beers to get here Don't know how many more do I leave Take my change and tears Drink fifteen beers There you go. <laughs> some awesome um, Johnny Paycheck from way back in the day. So let's do some song and artist facts next and talk about this crazy dude. All right, for this one, uh, I thought, um, you know, look up song facts and things like that. But hey, what song facts are there? You, the lyrics are pretty straightforward, right? So anyways, I thought I would look and, uh, and I, I threw it in chat GPT, actually, because I thought, let's see what, if you take all the song lyrics and put them in chat GPT and say, give me a summary of what this song is about. I thought, let's give that a try and see what it actually does. Uh, so here's what it said. The song's lyrics tell the story of a person who has consumed 15 beers in one night in an attempt to drown the painful memories and forget about someone. They arrive at a bar called Joe's to meet Delilah, but realize she's with somebody else. Uh, the protagonist continues to drink more beers to cope with the situation, reflecting on the quantity of alcohol they've consumed and its effects on their emotions as they try to forget their path. <laughs> the repeated refrain underscores the significance of the 15 beers as a coping mechanism to deal with heartbreak and emotional turmoil. <laughs> so that's what ChatGPT says. So how about that? Now, Johnny Paycheck, um, if you haven't uh, checked out the Tour Bus series, um, I can't remember the exact name of it, but it was uh, you can find it on uh, YouTube. It's an animated series by Mike Judge. Um, they do at least an episode on Johnny Paycheck. I think they may have a, an episode dedicated to him and then mentions of him in other episodes. Good stuff. If you, if you haven't already checked that out before, do that because it's some good stuff. But anyways... Um, you can get his full bio and all kinds of interesting things about him, but the basic, the short version is that he was born um, Donald Eugene Little in 1938, and he was a prominent country, American country music singer, a member of the Grand Old Opry. Um, one, I, I, I think his songs are great, by the way. Um, gained fame during the 1970s as a key figure in the country music outlaw movement, a movement that included artists like Hank Williams Jr., Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, uh, Billy Joe Shaver and Merle Haggard. <clears throat> Despite the successes and collaborations with legends like George Jones, Paycheck's career had its ups and downs marked by legal issues and battles with drug and alcohol addiction. Um, his most iconic hit, Take This Job and Shove It, became a country music anthem in 1977. And there was actually a movie associated with that, I do believe. Um, he passed away in 2003, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the world of country music. Uh, for sure. <coughs> and excuse my coughing. <clears throat> like I said, still kind of getting over something. Um, fortunately, I was really only sick for a day, and I'm really not sick today. Uh, that was just yesterday. So good. Um, you know, you can't ask for more, or you can ask for more than that. You can ask to not get sick at all. But if you're going to get sick, at least one day, that's, you know, that you can work with that. So I was sick for a day. I'm good now. Um, but I still have a tickle in my throat. So Anyways, uh, that's what I can tell you about Johnny Paycheck. Um, and uh, his, I did have one other note that his journey in the music industry was characterized by his ability to adapt, evolve, and overcome obstacles. He continued to record and perform throughout his career. The story is a testament to the resilience and determination of a true outlaw in the world of country music. Yes, it is. Um, so uh, he's, a, he's definitely a, a quote-unquote real character, as they say, So, or at least he was. So, um, so anyways, uh, that's what I can tell you. Um, I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, wherever you may be, and uh, check out more of my uh, Front Porch Jams where we will talk about chords, supply chord charts, and run through demos of the songs. 
I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.